And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. You know, I realize one 6x6 is very cool, but two 6x6s is exponentially cooler. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking delivery of the 6x6 Juggernaut. Now, the definition of Juggernaut, a huge, powerful, and overwhelming force or institution, the Juggernaut 6x6 is the biggest Ram TRX 6x6 in the world. Now, in the last year, we have had a La Ferrari delivered to the house, a NASCAR, a Ferrari factory race car, a Land Lamborghini Murcielago, but never in the entire history of living at the house have we taken delivery of a juggernaut. J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T juggernaut. What's yeah. up, dude? <laughs> All the way from South Yo, Florida. Man. This thing is ridiculous. Okay, I've seen all the photos of the Juggernaut, but here in real life in Utah, this thing is massive. It's huge. What? Look at those fender flares. Are you kidding me? Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun day. So today is July 26, 2022. I first started my YouTube channel July 26, 2012. Today is the 10 year anniversary, and we have filmed some of the most outrageous cars all around the world. I think like the Bugatti Vision Grand Turismo, putting the Lamborghini Aventador on tracks, but then we have the Juggernaut, which I would say is right on up there. We got 40 inch tires, we got six of them, we got 22 inch wheels, we have 850 horsepower, and the entire thing is rhino lined. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. My poor neighbors, I'm moving out in less than a month, okay? So I apologize, the outrageousness just continues. Wait for it, wait for it! Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's hard to convey to you guys how massive this thing is. And this trailer is not a very big trailer. It's kind of sort of sketchy watching this thing go off. Oh my goodness. And I thought my Gladiator was obnoxious. Like, look at this thing. It is absolutely massive. Okay. Wow. Now the silver lining, Mr. Luca, about the Juggernaut, this thing's unbreakable. You can't break it like you did the GTR. Is that a challenge or what? <laughs> I still can't get over that that used to be that right there like they're one in the same right now that thing looks ridiculous this is a quick hellosaurus first juggernaut they both have hellcats <laughs> my poor neighbors they wake up every single day they have no idea what to expect hellosaurus versus juggernaut happening today you know as far as fender size pretty sure the juggernaut's the clear winner the juggernaut has 40 inch tires but the gladiator's got 42 inch tires let's go now as i mentioned it's gonna be a very technical video and what are we doing let's go baby oh geez whoa let's go let's go one point, Hellosaurus, and yes, my neighbors are, they're watching me right now. This is incredibly awkward. Also, the asphalt is like burning hot. Next up, Juggernaut, baby. Oh, <laughs> let's go. And on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Anchor. Now we worked with Anchor quite a bit in the past and they continue to elevate the game when it comes to fast charging and multi-device charging. They've just introduced six new multi-charging devices in their GAN Prime lineup, including the 737 and the 747. These devices, they're fast charging, ultra compact and portable. Now Anchor uses an innovative interlocking structure and stacked architecture to reduce the size of the charger by 53% while also lowering operating temperature by as much as 18 degrees Celsius. And the Anchor 747, for example, has four charge ports so you can simultaneously charge a laptop, a tablet, a phone, and another device. Now Anchor's GAN Prime lineup has Active Shield 2.0. This enhances protection by monitoring temperature and adjusting power output to protect your connected devices. And Anchor's Power IQ 4.0 automatically detects the power requirements of laptops, cell phones, tablets, and other devices. It distributes the output between them in real time. This allows you to fast charge multiple devices in an energy efficient way. Now guys, Anchor continues to power a greener world. Less e-waste with the multiple port design means less chargers worldwide. Check out the link in the description below to Anchor's new GAN Prime lineup. It's never been easier to charge your cell phones, your tablets, your laptops, whatever devices you need charged simultaneously. Be sure to check that link in the description below. Now we've done a lot of talking about the Hellosaurus, about the Juggernaut, but now we're going to put them through their paces. Which is a better post-apocalypse vehicle? 
Please don't break the gladiator. Okay, I can't afford to fix it. I can't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, yours truly, we got the juggernaut. And yes, I realize I've said the word juggernaut probably like 50 times in today's video, but it's just fun to say, like, juggernaut. I don't know, there's just something about it. So, apocalypse, we're gonna follow the gladiator. Step one, obviously get a gas. One thing that's super funny in the neighborhood, so they just moved in, they just sold their house, these guys are selling their house too. What they need to do, this house, they need to wait like two months till I move out because as soon as I move out of the neighborhood, home values are gonna be through the roof. This combination is so ridiculous. The gladiator looks small. How is that possible? Combined, we're getting about two miles to the gallon right now. Oh, send it, Luca, send it. Let's go GRX! Let's go Juggernaut! That's right, I got 800 horsepower! I got 850 horsepower! That just cost me probably five bucks, but it was worth it. I wanted to win, but Luke's driving the Hellasaurus, and I'm in the Juggernaut, so I want to win. So, best of luck to everybody. Bye bye! 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 This thing is so fast! How is this thing so fast and so stable? That's 0 to 60, and count it! I want to say that's 0 to 60 in like 6, 7 seconds. This thing weighs an absolute fortune. This thing rips, uh, fuel economy, 5.7 miles to the gallon. Ooh, that drag race just costs us about $75. about how I built a mall crawler. Well, check this out. We're on a dirt road. That's right, <laughs> on a dirt road, chasing the Apocalypse 6x6. Six six. So that truck right there is $300,000. It looks so good out here though. Now you guys don't know this, but off camera, Luke has been talking a big game for weeks and weeks, months on end, about his new FPV drone and how he has officially mastered the craft. And, and when I say master the crash, <laughs> he is about to crash right into my six by six. I've it once since the last time. <laughs> I can only imagine, the footage must be absolutely amazing. <laughs> You're getting the best beer we've ever seen. For some reason, I'm very skeptical. I feel like this footage is absolutely gorgeous. Bro, we have an expectation. People expect the best from us. Is it sick? Oh! Oh, I, oh. <laughs> don't hit the juggernaut! Do not hit the juggernaut! Okay, bro, we do not own said juggernaut. This is a $300,000 truck, okay? What? I do not want to have to email the guys to explain why there's a dent in the juggernaut. I'm getting so sick. Are you alright? I'm not going to hit this gravel. Right. I'm definitely not going to hit this coming gravel. Coming through, coming through. <laughs> Gosh, this footage is going to be such trash. If you crash that drone, oh. do not crash that drone. No, no we have protection plan, maybe. Oh, that's right. No, we do. We got the best paid protection plan. Not a paid product place and four best pirates affiliates, but we did get the protection plan. Are you guys okay? Goodness, I'm so sorry, Luke is a pilot. This guy's an absolute idiot. I'm sorry. Wow, Luke. I'm sweating. Yes, you so are. Bad. <laughs> it's like Top Gun, dude. Yeah, it's exactly like Top Gun. <laughs> when I think about the things that I compare to Top Gun, Luke flying an FPV drone in the juggernaut is just like Tom Cruise flying an F-16. It's about the same. And out of nowhere, we had no idea this was even happening. There's a car show here at Garage Girl, so naturally, we're gonna drive the juggernaut <laughs> through just to see what people think. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I think the best thing is people are just so confused. They don't know what's going on. This is not our crowd. No, this is definitely, this is definitely not juggernaut territory. The juggernaut does not seem to be warm and welcome but you know what it's a public car show we can do whatever we want this place is sick we got a daytona coupe another cobra right there and a juggernaut literally nobody wants to look at us right now nobody will even look at us mr gabriel jones all the way from the beautiful state of florida this is built in florida bro welcome home this is from where you're from it's a trx it's Jeez, a juggernaut, you see? Dude, this thing is massive. Yeah, hop on in, son. Right, now, I don't think I mentioned this on the onset of today's video. We do not own said juggernaut. We wish we owned the juggernaut, but unfortunately, we have to return the juggernaut tomorrow. And I realized that my current neighbors got to enjoy the company, the pleasure of said juggernaut, whereas the new neighborhood, they did not. So naturally, we're here at the new house to show them the juggernaut. Unfortunately for the neighbors, they don't realize this quite yet. 
I'm gonna be moving into this neighborhood in less than 30 days. I really, really wish the neighbors were outside right now to see the juggernaut. Just to see the eye roll would be amazing. The nice thing about said juggernaut, watch this baby, boom. Let's go just straight around the back of the house. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there was a lot of changes. You okay, Gabe? You getting oh, nervous? Good, no. You getting nervous? Oh, that's a steep drop off, but we're in the juggernaut. We can do whatever we want. Ooh, electrical panel. I have imagined this moment for so many times, driving one of my cars into the garage for the very first time. I never imagined in a million years it was gonna be the juggernaut. Come on, baby, let's go. How we looking, Luca? We good? Let's go. We're in. This is such a surreal moment to actually have a car here in the garage. The juggernaut is car number one. I never imagined that would be the case. I've always had such a hard time conveying to you guys how massive these two car garages are. Like this car, I don't know how long it is exactly, but it fits in the garage absolutely no problem whatsoever. Now today's house update is obviously not a full update, but we have a couple surprises that are pretty cool. So you can see the car elevator is gonna be here momentarily. So they gotta pour a little bit more concrete. You can kind of see these forms going into place right now. I realize the lighting is absolutely awful. So they're gonna be pouring concrete any day now. And as soon as this is poured, the car elevator is gonna be here. It's gonna be in place. 29 days. You got 29 days. Luke, please go away. <laughs> Gabe, you looking for a job? I need a cameraman. 29 days. <laughs> wow, wow. So up here above the garage is a really cool angle that we have never seen before. We finally got these doors open and check this out. Guys, please do not break the lift again. Okay, we can't afford that. I leave these guys for one second and they're gonna hurt themselves. Also, the echo, hello, 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 hello. We gotta fix that. Now, I can't predict the future, but I just imagine the scenario in which they actually get this thing turned on, they start reversing, and somehow, in some form, they fall down there, and they die. That's how I'm gonna lose my camera. Luke, this is such, such a bad influence. We have children watching the video. Bro, you're literally headed right towards the pit. I got this. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, it just continues to get worse and worse. The problem is you don't know how to get down now. You're going to be stuck up there. He doesn't know how to get he down. Doesn't. Yeah, just leave him there. All right. Well, we're going to hop in the juggernaut. We'll see you later. Really? The hamper's up there. Luke, or Gabe, let me hire you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you twice what I'm paying Luke. I'll do it. Well, before anybody kills themselves, I think it's time to get out of here. It's so crazy. This is my future. Like the number of times we're gonna be doing this in the future. So sick. You know, the more and more time I spend with this juggernaut, the more and more I like it. Now, unfortunately, it is headed back to South Florida to Apocalypse Engineering. I gotta give a massive shout out to them. Check them out in the link in the description below. But unfortunately, on that bombshell, yep, today's video is over. Hi mom, just sitting in the road. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Every single decision I've ever made in my entire life has led me to this moment in time. This asphalt is burning. Come on, Luke, hurry. That was so ridiculously terrifying. I, I didn't think I was gonna make it on this. I'm just waiting to hear a little boop, boop, boop. That was your wildest dream almost come true though. You almost got rid of me. That's right.